Morning. Well, the last couple months, I had a goal of putting on a bit more size. Now, Hudson and I, we went through a body weight program over the summer and we've been doing various projects here and there. And a lot of times you can kind of just get in a place where you maintain what you have. And I was getting a little bored with the fitness journey because I wasn't quite sure um, what I wanted to do next or had a specific goal in mind. So I just had my head over the holiday season, over the winter time that I'm just gonna be putting on some size. My goal was around 15 pounds or so, but I wanted to put on lean body mass, try to get as much muscle as possible. Now Hudson and I, we did go through a bulking plan a couple years ago and we gained a significant amount of weight. Um, but honestly, I put in a little bit more fat percentage than I would have liked to. So in this case, I wanted to try to get a little bit more lean body mass or at least as much as I could. So I set out a goal in the next few months. I wanted to put on the size. I wanted to get up to around 235, 240 pounds to see what happened and to see how my body would handle it and see if I could even do it again. Um, so the workouts went up. The eating went up, of course, really tried to monitor my sleep, also a lot of hydration and so on, keep my protein high, my carbs high, uh, my good healthy fats, moderate. And so today I just wanna go over my schedule, what I've been doing in the past few months and hopefully it motivates you and uh, we can complete this buffness journey together. Oh yeah. First things first, we gotta grab some food because as you know, you can't gain weight without eating and you gotta eat a lot if you wanna gain a lot. So we're gonna be heading to the store and we're going to be picking up a moderate amount of food. I usually do like a bi-weekly shopping list here. Some of the stuff I can buy and I buy in bulk, let's say oatmeal, but I am out of oatmeal so I do need to pick some of that up. But a lot of the meat that I get, let's say salmon and ground beef and things of that nature, um, I'll usually buy just enough to make for maybe a couple days, a few days or so. Again, when you're eating a lot, um, if you don't have a lot of fridge storage space that you just can't store a lot and you just don't want it to go bad either. So I usually do bi-weekly shopping. So I'm only gonna get a, um, a few things here and there, uh, mainly to show in this video what I do eat each day, um, especially for trying to put on 15 pounds of muscle. Breakfast number one is almost ready. I uh, heated up the water on the stove and just poured it directly into one cup of quick cook steel cut oat, oatmeal. And now I'm just letting it sit. The cupboard lid here, and I got everything ready to mix it in. I got my protein, collagen. I have my banana that I'm gonna slice up. I also have the walnuts, about a handful of walnuts or so. And I'm just gonna kind of mix everything together. Now that I had my first meal, the first breakfast, I'm gonna rush to shoot a dumbbell video because we're uh, we're shooting a dumbbell um, program um, at this point on our Buff Dudes workout channel. And so I'm driving up north for that, I'm gonna meet at the gym, the camera guy we've been using. And then I'm gonna come right back home, have my second breakfast, um, and then um, keep that schedule up. And then also have a workout later on today. And so you'll notice in this video, it's just food, food, and food. And obviously if you're putting on any weight, you're gonna be eating a lot. You're gonna be eating more than you usually do, so you're in the surplus at all times. So that's one thing that's really gonna be important um, if you wanna put on size is um, continuing to make sure you're in a surplus. And you'll see throughout this video, it's just, it's gonna be consistency. So something like this today is an example of pretty much what I do every day. Um, so if you keep up that habit, you keep up the consistency, within a few months, you're gonna definitely put on size. And so I started about December, so I was eating a little bit more, and I had a plan on, I was hitting around maybe 215, 220 pounds or so, and I had a goal of like, I wanna get up to around 235, maybe even up to 240, put on that 15 to even 20 pounds. And I know it's not all lean body mass. Um, there is gonna be obviously an increased fat percentage too, because you are just rushing a lot of extra calories and macronutrients into the body, so it is gonna store a little bit of that extra calories as fat but just keeping as active as possible too, really hitting those hard workouts and uh, getting that good sleep and kind of just everything coming together is gonna keep you uh, pretty lean and also just build that nice quality muscle, especially if you keep it up over time. You know, obviously it's not gonna happen overnight. Months and months, even years of doing something like this is gonna build that nice dense muscle. And uh, I've been heavy before in the past. Um, I really started gaining weight when I was 19 and kind of went from there. And in my early 20s, I was up to 235, around 240, just because I, did a schedule like this every day. And I didn't uh, I didn't take a lot of breaks and I didn't just be like, ah, fuck it, I'll just like party over the weekend, I won't get good sleep, I won't eat. I, I just stuck with a really strict schedule um, every single day um, for years and it really paid off. So now I have a nice, thankfully, I have a nice foundation built up so I can kind of fluctuate a little bit easier maybe than some people. Uh, but that all being said, continue the schedule and keep eating. 
things have got done shooting the dumbbell video for our series on Buff Dudes Workouts channel, um, the dumbbell only program. And now I am driving back home um, to grab a bite to eat and I'm going to get ready for another workout, an actual kind of uh, workout with a good friend of mine, Erin. Um, you've probably seen her in the video, the him versus her, women versus men kind of workout series where she did a Buff Dudes back good to kind of have someone there to push you. Unfortunately, Hudson is up in Oregon at this time, so I can't get workouts with him anymore, so I don't really have a workout partner to push me as much, so I'll meet up with Aaron from time to time, and uh, it's always good to get that extra motivation. So now the long drive back home, um, unfortunately it's about like an hour, hour and a half, and then uh, it's raining out today, so the drop is a little bit heavier. Get that nutrition, always food. Food's always on the mind, and then get ready for the gym. A nice workout in and then uh, after that more food okay just got back and I'm ready to eat breakfast number two and you'll notice with this meal it's a little bit more protein heavy so we got the eggs whole eggs we got the chicken sausage got some onions and uh, bell peppers mushrooms things of that nature so there's some veggies and there's a lot of uh, protein based not a lot of carb based stuff we had most of our carbs for the first breakfast meal with the oatmeal and then now this one is a little bit more protein based So I'm gonna eat this food, I'm gonna get ready for the gym. Got my post-workout shake. Uh, just mixed it with some coconut water, sometimes I'll do fat-free milk or even almond milk. Um, two scoops of whey protein. And you don't have to have your protein immediately after your workout if you don't want to, but I just kinda like it, it's refreshing, it feels good, and I kinda just get in a little extra protein and calories um, between meals that way. And I also got my pre-workout. Uh, this definitely gets me going. So I don't really have coffee in the morning, especially on days that I know I'm gonna be working out and using um, pre-workout just because it's just a lot of caffeine. I don't like to overdo it on caffeine, but this stuff definitely helps. Um, so here we go. We're ready. Let's get a workout. It was one hell of a shoulder workout and consumed my post-workout shake on the drive home. And now that I'm home, I'm gonna be making meal number three, which is gonna be lunch. And I'm gonna be using some of the ground beef that I bought earlier and making some burgers. I'm just gonna mix up uh, one egg in there to kind of help bind it together. And then I'm just gonna put some butter on the pan and I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna put it about high, medium high heat. And I'm just gonna kind of sear it on both sides, get about medium, medium well. And I forgot to pick up more burger buns. I only have one left, uh, but that's okay. So I'll just have one on the side, but add some cheese on there, some tomato, some onion, some lettuce, and uh, have some cottage cheese on the side that I also picked up earlier today at the store. So it's gonna be a nice big filling meal. Uh, definitely feels good after a hard workout, after excess, well, I guess a couple workouts today now.
What time is it? It's time for meal number four. So we are poaching some salmon today. And you'll see, uh, using some white wine, uh, about half white wine, half water, and filling it just about the level of the salmon. And we're just rinsing off the salmon a bit and just spreading mustard on the salmon. I, li I like to use a little bit of a spicy Dijon kind of mustard and chopping up some leeks and then just putting it in the pan and just put it on high heat. And as soon as it starts to boil, go ahead and shut it off and you're gonna be covering it, of course. And so that way that heat and the steam and the, and the water and the white wine are gonna, gonna poach the salmon and just it's gonna taste delicious once it's all ready. And that takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so to kind of have fully cooked. In the meantime, roasting some potatoes and just chopping them in two and seasoning them, putting them in a pan and putting them on 400 degrees Fahrenheit and leaving them there for about um, 50 minutes to an hour. So obviously you're gonna be putting those in first, letting those cook in the oven and roast in the oven and then about halfway or about three quarters of the way I should say um, while they're cooking that's when you'll start the salmon and we're just going to be laying the salmon on a nice bed of lettuce and uh, and you'll see in this video there's there's about four possibly five bigger meals my portion sizes in each meal are pretty large so I pretty much fit my calories and micronutrients into each meal and do a smaller amount of meals. Let's say instead of like some, I guess bodybuilders will split up six, seven meals, but they're doing smaller meals. I like to have bigger meals. I like to feel full after I eat. So that way it'll, it'll carry over uh, two, three, four hours, depending, because obviously every day is different. So you can kind of pick and choose obviously what works best for you. So I'll try to have pretty big meals, especially on busier days when I have to drive somewhere and, and maybe shoot a video or so on. And uh, so this one's gonna be a pretty, pretty big meal and I will have leftover food as well. So I'm going to use the leftovers. I'll put them in uh, some containers and put them in the fridge and I'll probably end up maybe just reheating it on the pan later on, later tonight, and have it for kind of like a second dinner if I'm hungry. Or I'll probably just mix up some Greek yogurt and some more protein powder in there and just mix it up. It's kind of like an easy snack, um, kind of a later evening night snack there. Um, that's not too filling and it feels good, tastes good. And there we go, that would round out the day. So it is actually a pretty productive and good day. And I got a lot of food in, got a lot of workouts in, but that's what it takes, right? It's the consistency in doing this every day and really trying to hit your calories, your macronutrients, day in and day out, your good hard workouts, good sleep, hydrate. It's all those things, you know, you pile on top of each other. We do have a lot of programs. Uh, our bulking book includes meal plans. Our cutting book includes meal plans. So that way you have a good idea of maybe what Hudson and I do or have or eat, and maybe what might help you out too, because there's obviously other other uh, nutritional facts in there too and, and um, some things to look over. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna cook up the rest of the meal. I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and then it starts all over again tomorrow. And as always, stay puff.